What is going on you guys? Austin back again with Full Life Proof Grooming and today I'm going to tell you how to choose the perfect beard style for you. Now as you may notice, I'm not really in my normal place today. I'm not in front of a desk full of books and that is because here in the office at the Volt Grooming headquarters we actually set up a green screen so I can give you even cooler videos. For example, I can film to you from space or I might just kick it back and relax on the beach. Either way, you guys, we have tons of great content coming out for you very soon. So please do us all a favor and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified every time we post a new video. Let's get right back into it. Beards come in many different shapes and styles. And what may be the right beard style for me is absolutely not the right beard style for everybody. Either way, growing a beard is a big decision. It will affect the way people view you and your personality. But even bigger than that is how beards affect the way you view yourself. And to be honest, this can be an awesome thing. In fact, studies have shown that people with beards are more likely to increase their revenue in sales in sales and service-based jobs simply because the people who were buying something from these salesmen felt that the salesmen had more experience and were ultimately more trustworthy. So if you've made the decision to become a full-on beardsman, then we have the perfect video for you because we're gonna tell you today how to get started choosing a beard style to shoot for when you grow a beard. Now, before you just quit shaving and expect nature to work its magic, there are a few things you'll have to consider before growing your beard. So let's start with hairstyle. Now you may be wondering, what in the world does hairstyle have to do when it comes to growing and maintaining a beard? Well, kind of a lot, actually. You see, your hairstyle is the main factor that defines the outline and silhouette of your head. And that silhouette, depending on the hairstyle you decide, will change the way your face shape appears, which in turn changes the way a beard will appear on you. For example, take a man who has a very square shaped or a very wide face. If that guy chooses to rock a longer hairstyle, his face is going to end up looking slimmer than it would if he chose a shorter hairstyle. So here's the general rule for you to keep in mind when you're choosing a hairstyle. A longer hairstyle is going to make your face look slimmer. Medium length voluminous hairstyle is going to make your face look wider and that's because it adds volume to the sides of your head. And short topped hairstyles can either be slimming or widening depending on how the hair is styled. For example, if your hair is relatively flat on the top of your head, it is going to make your face look wider. If it comes up to a point or a peak in the middle, think of almost like a mohawk or spiked hair or something like that, it's actually going to make your face appear longer. So why should you care? It's because it makes a difference in terms of your overall face shape. Now determining your face shape can be an article all on its own, but it's a huge factor in deciding what beard style you want to rock. So without going too crazy into it, let me just discuss a little bit about face shapes and which beard styles work for different examples. So generally speaking, the most versatile face shapes, the ones that can rock the most amount of beard and hairstyle combinations, are going to be symmetrical face shapes. Either very square face shapes or very oval face shapes. So let's talk real quick about the different face shapes. You have the classic square face shape. Wide jaw leading almost vertically straight up to an equally wide forehead. And for square face shapes, you're actually gonna to wanna to choose a shorter beard style that is going to naturally enhance your strong chin and jaw. And then you have oval face shapes, which is a rounded jaw that increases in width up to your cheeks and then decreases in width up to a rounded forehead. If you have an oval face shape, you pretty much hit the jackpot because you can choose essentially any beard style you want. And that's just due to natural facial symmetry. To avoid a baby face look, unless you like that kind of thing, you're gonna wanna choose an angular shape that really accents and brings some definition to your jaw and cheekbone. And then you have a diamond face shape, which is a kind of sharp jaw with angular straight lines that lead up to sharp cheeks, which again, very angularly lead up to an almost pointed forehead. If you have a diamond face shape, you're gonna wanna match your beard with whatever your hair is doing. This just helps you create a full faced look without any part of your face appearing too thin or lacking fullness along with the rest. Examples include a short box beard, a Van Dyke, or a Balbo beard. Next we have triangle face shapes. Wide forehead, angular lines down to a pointed jaw. Now if you have a triangle face shape, what you're going to want to do is even out the way your face appears by adding some width and fullness 
to the bottom, to your beard. And you're gonna wanna choose a fuller, maybe a little longer beard style to really fill out that sharp space around your chin and to avoid making it appear even more angular. Remember, it's all about symmetry. So if you have a triangle face shape, you're going to want to widen out the bottom a little bit but try and keep the top, try and keep your hair the same, or at least avoid it from widening out the top of your head. And the last one we're gonna talk about today is the heart face shape. It's pretty much the same as a diamond face shape, except your hair forms an obvious widow's peak right down the center. And if you have a heart face shape, you're gonna to want to widen out your chin with fuller beard styles that define your jawline. So how can you tell exactly what face shape you have? The best way is to do this. Stand in front of your mirror, and just take like, I don't know, an Expo marker or something and trace your face as carefully as you can and step back and see what kind of shape you find. And last but not least, you guys, the important part here is what do you want to rock? What's your preferred beard style? because no one else is gonna be rocking this beard. The point with growing a beard is that you're happy with it. So if you've ever had your heart set on a beard style or a certain look that you're really going for, go after it. Because it doesn't matter what kind of tips I give you if you end up not enjoying the result. So ultimately, you will know what's best for you and what you want to rock with your own preferred style. Growing a beard is an awesome endeavor and worth every bit of effort. And if you guys like this video, please hit like and subscribe, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I have another green screen featuring video. We're gonna have some more cool stuff and some more cool people coming on the channel and you're not gonna wanna miss it. And please leave us a comment telling us which beard style you chose and exactly why you chose that beard style. Was it because I gave you the tips? Or was it something you just really had your heart set on? Either way, we'd love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.